but you know, you did eat a lot of dots last night on Halloween. A lot of Things sugar. Things that got to your head a little bit. It's okay, a lot of sugar. Just right there, back in New York. <laughs> Hi, John Katzelmedi is here from the Review Journal. We got a lot of entertainment headlines you know to get to. A uh, big one. You two just made a big announcement. Just this morning, yeah, they're going to be back in uh, Las Vegas. They like it here, and we like them here. They're going to be May 11th. They're going to come back to, into Las Vegas, at T-Mobile Arena. And they'll Maybe. sell out, right? They ought to sell out. Yeah, yeah. I saw them sell out 46,000 in 2009 at Sam Boyd Stadium. Uh -huh. so, at the Gosh, uh, you know crazy. one of the big shows they've had there they've been all over town and uh, this is their first performance at uh, T-Mobile so and the tickets go on sale on November 20th 20th okay and Rod Stewart he just announced he's adding more shows we weren't sure if he was going to stay or go from the Coliseum six dates in June just mm -hmm. announced also so he'll be part of the, the programming there at least the first half of next year okay perfect all right let's talk about this benefit uh, today has been one month since the since the mass shooting obviously and you know we haven't had a huge benefit show just yet and I know that they're you were saying up. there's going to be one at the T-Mobile Arena what have you heard well we've got a couple we've got one on, on Sunday too at, at sure 1 p.m. at the Venetian cares. that uh, Vegas cares. The one we're talking about here is uh, the Killers and Imag Imagine Dragons are working toward a, a couple of dates, either December 1st or 4th, as I've reported, to mm -hmm. uh, combine efforts at T-Mobile Arena for an, uh, a big uh, for Las Vegas for the uh, Las Vegas Victim Funds concert, and I'm expecting to have some consolidation by the end of this week. Yeah, this is a complicated thing to get this you together. Fit it in, right? You do. It originally, it was going to involve a lot of other people. We thought. But I think it's going to be just these two bands, and that is good enough because Gosh, they are yeah. the heart and soul of the city when it comes to rock and roll. And yeah, I mean, obviously, they have such links to our city, and I know that mm -hmm. they care so much. So that'll yeah. be a, a big thing. They do a lot. You'll let us know. We'll let mm -hmm. folks know when that's going to uh, happen. Hey, Marilyn, the new musical. I love this. I saw a picture. Um, a friend and fellow performer, uh, Je Jennifer Clower, posted this. Mm -hmm. And um, wife of Travis. She, yeah, she. Mm -hmm. I thought this was a great picture, and I wanted to know <laughs> where can I see this show? And well, you had some answers. It has performed once in Las Vegas in August at the space and it did another show a couple nights ago again at the space a private show for potential partners I feel that this show it's a full-length musical about the life of Marilyn Monroe where she plays dual personalities as Marilyn Monroe the the icon and as Norma Jean Baker her, mm -hmm. her original personality yeah I think Caesars Entertainment is very interested in putting us on stage somewhere yeah I, I mean, really do a lot of yeah. interest in the whole Marilyn yeah. we don't really have a show it's a with fully her. realized Tegan Sumner is the guy behind it and he has written it and it produces and direct it, directs it and it's a full-scale adaptation of her life hmm. All right, Dirk Arthur, he is back again at the Westgate. We got about uh, 45 seconds. Let's talk about this. This guy has just uh, disappeared and reappeared so many times. I say Dirk's He's like quite an entertainer. I say Dirk's like his because cats. He's got train. nine lives, but that was <laughs> that was the last time he was opening and closing. Now I think he has ten lives in Las Vegas. Yeah. He opened a Jubilee in 1993, I think it was. And uh, he's been uh, on stage in many different venues, everywhere from O'Shea's to, uh -huh. to um, the Riviera. And he's going to be at the Westgate Cabaret with a couple of cats and a duck named Affleck mm. on November 15th is when he reopens. Yeah. So we'll see how that's accepted. But Dirk, is, uh, he keeps coming with yeah. his cats. Yeah, he's he does keep coming. He's got a snow leopard and another one that he's using. And that's what he's going to do. All right, should be good. If you want to read more about any of these stories, you can go to Cat's column in the Review Journal. It's called Cats! <laughs>